you ever wondered where all the leaves go when they fall off the trees? Well, actually, they're broken down by bacteria and fungi. The nutrients are then recycled back into the ecosystem. There is a constant recycling of chemicals that is going on on the planet. The carbon atoms that are in your body have probably been part of someone else before. But when they died or, and were buried and those carbon atoms went back into the soil as they got broken down by bacteria and fungi, then may have ended up going into a plant, an animal may have eaten that plant, and then you may have eaten that animal, part of your, your food for lunch, and then that carbon from that animal goes into making more of your cells. So actually, the same carbon atoms are just being cycled around the planet and being constantly reused all the time. It's an amazing sort of thing to really think about what that actually means. Now, microorganisms such as bacteria play a really key role in this because what they do is they break down complex organic molecules and return the elements to the environment so they then can be reused again. Elements on the planet are recycled between the living world and the non-living world. So they, elements may be in the air, the water, and the soil, and the rocks, but they could end up getting back in, into living organisms, but then they might end up getting returned back to the air and the soil and the rocks again. So they can, elements can move between the living and the non-living. We're gonna look at two specific elements and how they are recycled. We're gonna look at carbon and nitrogen. So. Some people find these cycles really, really hard, but I think it's really easy if you start off with a simple diagram like this, and you look at that, and you all start off with the gas in the air. So the gas in the air in the carbon cycle that really is the most important one is carbon dioxide. Let's start off with carbon dioxide in the air. Now that can get in to living organisms only via photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the chemical reaction, carbon dioxide plus water goes to glucose plus oxygen. So that carbon goes into glucose in the plants. Now that can be passed along lots and lots of different food chains in the process of feeding. But then plants and animals actually return that, some of that carbon back to the atmosphere when they do respiration and they breathe out carbon dioxide. So there's already a little cycle going on there. But we've also got to remember that these organisms can die and they can excrete and there's carbon in, in, in their bodies and in their excretion and therefore that carbon gets returned to the soil by decomposers, things like bacteria and fungi. Some of those organisms don't get decomposed, but they get fossilized instead, and they can form things like coal and oil, and then those can be combusted in a factory, and that carbon that's trapped there, has been trapped there for thousands of years sometimes, gets returned back to the atmosphere again in the form of CO2, and then it may go back into the cycle again, back into a plant, back into animals, etc., etc. So we can see how carbon can cycle round and round and round, and the carbon that's in us will go on to build other living things um, in years to come, and we are built of carbon that's already been living things before us.